this video explains uh, how you can close the issues or uh, change your workflow so that you can close the issues so for example uh, we have got one project here scrum project i have created this project using the scrum template and you can see that that close or resolve these buttons are not appearing here so basically uh, in the new interface what they have done is uh, it is tied to the status so here you can see that uh, for this ticket uh, it can uh, transition from to do in progress and then done that's because it is using certain workflow so if you want to able to uh, like close or resolve the issues then you will have to modify the workflow of this particular project so to modify the uh, workflows uh, what you have to do, do is uh, go to the project settings of that project and uh, over here uh, first of all i will tell you how you can view the current workflow so you can see there is a workflow button just click on that and you can see that uh, this project is being uh, is using this workflow called as a software simplified workflow scheme software simplified workflow scheme so they have introduced this workflow in new version of jira but uh, if you want to get another uh, workflow what you have to do is you can uh, click on add workflow here then click on add existing and you can see that on the left hand side there are lots of workflows over there so if you choose this uh, classic default workflow what will happen is that you can uh, choose between these statuses open closed resolved reopened in progress and similarly you can uh, look at other workflows if that suits your needs then you can add uh, that type of workflow so here you can see that builds workflow uh, is uh, generally used when uh, people have integrated their project with the uh, github or any other repository and we have got project management workflow as well so let us change this uh, projects workflow to classic default workflow and then let us see uh, if we can uh, we can also assign this issue types to classic workflow and uh, uh, you can have different workflows for a different uh, issue types as well so that is also possible but right now uh, i'm just gonna assign all the issue types to this classic uh, default workflow and then click on finish then uh, you have to click on publish so this is very important if you do not publish it you will not be able to uh, use that workflow so over here it is uh, showing asking us to uh, map software simplified workflow to the classic default workflow because in software simplified workflow there are only three status so how you can change so to do is open so we are going to uh, keep it like that done means we can either uh, keep it closed or resolved so i'm going to uh, select closed then uh, again here to do open then closed open closed open closed open closed so i'm just mapping my existing workflow to the new workflow then click on associate and then uh, it will transition all the tic existing tickets so generally this is done by your project manager at the uh, beginning of the project from or when they are setting up the jira so this is just one time activity once workflow is set up and uh, what you can do is you can go to the project and then check the status of the issues or tickets so here if you click on backlog let us create one ticket and uh, if you look at this uh, ticket status you can see that you can uh, close this uh, particular ticket or resolve this ticket you can see that there is a close and resolve buttons so that's like uh, you can close it and then give the resolution over there or you can uh, resolve this issue so the difference between close and resolve is that uh, it's not uh, much difference it is just uh, like concept wise uh, context wise uh, there is a difference like in close means that uh, there is nothing to uh, like extra work is to be done on the ticket the resolve means that all developers are like satisfied with the, that the issue is finished so you can see that uh, in the information this saying resolving an issue indicates that the developers are satisfied the issue is finished and then you can uh, give the resolution and then click on resolve so that is how you can uh, like uh, work with workflows you can also Create your custom workflow as well, which I will cover in next video. Thanks for watching this video.